Welcome to part 22 of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. This is Ron Moore along with Tibbs. We have returned. Yep, and uh, don't hold your breath. This is a wild game. I fail. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so as we record. Yeah, this is in the midst of uh, the, the release of Breath of the Wild, so not many people talk about Twilight Princess right now, but that's okay. <laughs> But we're about to do something that, in a sense, could train you for something you can do in Breath of the Wild. Oh, okay. Because you can actually use your shield as a snowboard. Oh, nice. And yes, folks, I will do my best to try not to mention that game every five seconds. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, tomorrow... To be fair, though... Oh, to be ahead. fair, though, ten years ago when when this game came out, this game did make my jaw drop when it came out ten years ago as well. Yeah. And tomorrow, Tibbs will do an LP of Breath of the Wild. I'm just kidding. Yeah. I'd have to quit my job. Yeah. All right. So now I just, um, as you know, I just defeated the Snow Temple, Snow, uh, Snow Peak Ruins. Yeah. And, uh, now and I had some technical difficulties. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you mean? Remember the video quit working for me? Oh, that's right, because of the weather. That's right, yeah. And uh, so me and Jeff, uh, was, uh, um, Tibbs had to wing it. As me and Jeff still watched the video. Yeah. Oh, there's, I mean, Thankfully, I know this game very well. <laughs> yeah. And we're doing some more Poe hunting here. And I forgot. It's been a while since I. Repose. Yeah, it's been a while since I've done uh, another part of this LP. I think uh, did jo Giovanni want us to collect more pose to uh, do something else. I forgot. Yes. There's a total I, of sixty. I don't remember. Is that yeah. right? No, okay. Yes, but I I can't remember if you've gone back to him with twenty or if you even have twenty yet. Yeah, I can't remember that either. I guess we'll find out in this part. Um. I just know we're not even close to being done quite yet with uh, clipping all the pose. And now I'm going to go back to the surface here. And do a little, I guess, bonus game, if you will. I'm going to try to race um, I, I, that, that snow, I love this part. That snow couple, whatever the names are, I forgot. Yeto and Yeti. I love how those doors have their handprints on them. Yeah. Oh, there he is, Star Soldier. <laughs> now, we gotta leave Star Soldier alone. He's still depressed from losing his universal title to Goldberg. <laughs> Alright. Uh, so now he's gonna race with his big butt, wherever the heck that is. Jeez. Looks like a freaking. When did Zelda become SX Tricky? Right? So, uh. Link Hawk here, or, or Tony Hawk, whatever is. <laughs> Snowboarding, or no, that's, that's skateboarding. Fail. Now we need some Rage Against the Machine playing in the background. Lights yeah. out! Gorilla Radio! Yeah. Have you played the fan made game Streets of Rage Against the Machine? Is there really a game like that? No. Anyway. There should be. Right. right let's see if. Oh, Link, missed. Lee can beat Ghetto, or Ghetto, whatever his name is. I think he's Yeti. His wife is Yeto. Oh, yeah. Ghetto. The Ghetto! <laughs> I like this music right here. I've always loved snow areas. Uh, to me, I, uh... I'm trying to think. I know I don't like water areas that much except for Jolly Roger Bay. That was cool. Um... I don't know what my favorite, uh atmosphere is in the game like as far as you know weather like snow water uh i don't know i guess i don't have a preference never really thought about that i always like the i guess nighttime levels especially in racing games in this game in particular there's something about the desert that i really love yeah it's pretty cool you uh, 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 know <gasps> <gasps> thank you principal mcvicker Oh, you old bastard, huh? Uh, you beat me! 
Does she even have any arms? Right? Either she does, or she's always very, very cold. She's a fat fee. A <laughs> fat fee, yeah. Or fi, whatever. <laughs> I love the thing he wears on his head. Is that like a saddle? Uh, I have to look. Oh, wait. I have to look at him again. Race to house. Oh. Uh. Oh, yeah. Remember, remember the beavers in Majora's Mask? The beavers, beavers in Majora's Mask? Yeah, those two beavers, man. Man, I gotta. Uh, that's another Zelda game I'm not too familiar with because I wasn't too <laughs> fond of that, that one. That game's full of beaver. <laughs> if I see him, I'm sure I will remember. I just don't. Uh, I don't know it like the back, back of my hand like I would maybe Ocarina of Time and Link to the Past. Yeah, in the Great Bay Area, there's two bucktooth beavers that you race underwater. Hmm. Yeah, I have to go back and check that out again. So I mean, well, you gotta leave it to beavers. Yeah. I mean, it's a close race. She's you, more, she's more you, challenging than, than uh, her husband. You really have to take all the shortcuts to beat her. Yeah. Oh, I love the sunset. Yeah. Uh oh, is the Twilight's approaching again? The fate of the kingdom is in the balance, and you're just doing this. Right? Yeah. I'm surprised uh, Midden does not get onto him. Hey, I did that, I did that. Translation, <laughs> what are you doing? We gotta save Hyrule and the Twilight Realm. Are you over here snow, uh, snowboarding? I think I might have mentioned this when we first approached the mansion, but I love during that last turn how you can see it approaching. Dang it. Oh, you lost, Ronnie. I saw me losing approaching. Uh, you gotta get good. Yep. Yeah, yeah that wins. Yeah, sad face. I wanna race again. All right, Ooh, so jump cut. Yeah, jump cut. And uh, hope we jump cut to me winning. Five days later. Yeah. That's a strong piece of ice he's on. Right. Link is on thin ice here. Then it just shatters. Yeah, it's a photo finish. Not really. You can clearly see Link 1. You too good. Don't worry, one day you'll get good. <laughs> you slimmer than husband. You aerodynamic, huh? <laughs> yeah. And she ripped out a pipe piece of her heart and gave it to you. Yep. Shot to the heart and you're to blame. I stole her heart. Right in front of her husband. Okay, I see that thing on his head, whatever the What a heartbreaker. Is. Yeah. So you play as Link Michaels. Yeah, see, it's a saddle. Okay, yeah. R right, right him. <laughs> <sighs> that too bad. Shut up, Star Soldier. That's what you get for making fun of Mega Man 5. <laughs> now, I wonder why why she doesn't give you crap about being near them in a wolf form. I don't know. Hey, long loading times. Come on. All right, here we go. Back to Hyrule Field. Where I'm supposed to do something, and I forgot. I know, it seems like forever since we've done this. Yeah. You see that meme on Facebook where it shows Captain Jack Sparrow's face looking all confused, and it goes, it says that moment when you play a game, when you open up a saved file of a game you haven't played in forever. Yeah. Looking around like, where am I? What is this? Where was I at? Zelda games are good for that. Yeah. Oh yeah, it took me a year to beat but Twilight Princess because of delays and just putting it off. And then finally, I beat it in like uh, December 2007, January 2008. But I'm the type of guy that once I start a game, particularly a game like this, big game, it's usually, the, for the most part, the only game I play 
until I beat it. Yeah. To me, I'm just kind of losing interest, I guess, a little bit, and uh, I'll get sidetracked with either life or other games or other stuff. And granted, at the time I was going to school, and so yeah, I just uh, it happens. But uh, I was like, you know, I want to beat this game all the way through, so I finally did that. Oh, you cheated here, Ronnie. Yeah, well, I quick cut through that. All it is is just pushing those blocks out the way. Yeah. And it took a while to figure out. To, and, yeah. I should rephrase what I said. I, I, it's like this wouldn't be the only game I play. It'd be like the only big game. Like I wouldn't play two huge games at the same time. I'd play one huge game and then off to the side have like smaller games. And of course, games that I play with Nikita and stuff like that. Kind of like what I do with YouTube. There's one long project, a let's play, and then there's side projects like let, let's check out, long time no play, or whatever. Exactly. And hopefully this LP won't take three years. Like Ocarina yeah. Time did, so far it's taken December, about three months, not that bad. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Love this guy. Yeah. I don't care if you're a wolf. Here you go. Right, right in the dead of night, this guy is dedicated. Yeah. I wish all postmen were nice and dedicated like him. Yeah. Yeah, he would, uh... That's probably the only postman that would not go postal on you. Speaking of which, has Amazon started that, that drone thing where they'll supposedly, right after you buy it, drop it off via drone right to your house? I've never heard of that. <laughs> Maybe they decided not to do it. Wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh, a drone will literally fly to your front door? and drop the yep. product off? Yep. I don't know, it's kind of scary. <laughs> <laughs> that, maybe that's why they decided not to do it. Yeah, I mean, what if it's a secret way to kill you? <laughs> although, <laughs> although I will say this. If next Friday, or whenever... Uh, 17th, yeah. If next Friday, a drone flies down and drops Binding of Isaac on my front stoop... I would be very happy. Well, I ordered the movie Son-in-Law, and it's supposed to arrive tomorrow. And um, if a drone drops it off, I said, nope, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not opening that door unless the drone flies away <laughs> in peace. Now, is, I guess, is, is the drone supposed to fly away after it drops it off or wait for you to confirm that it's you or something? I, I don't know, man. <laughs> if it flies away and I don't see it in sight, then open the door real quick and take the product, close the door, lock it. Have you ever seen the South Park about the drones? No. The bush? Oh, it's so good. All right, there's the, uh, I forgot her name, the, uh, the woman that was investigating the Snow Peak Ruins. Uh, Ashai, Ashay, yeah, something Ash, like that. Ashy. Ashy, yeah. Ashy. Like. Ash Ketchum. Yeah. Oh, and Nikita wants me to thank you for calling her a guy. Oh, no, I didn't call her a guy. I just said someone stole her name. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, wait. I, I remember. Yeah. Probably viewers. Yeah, inside, uh, inside joke there. Oh, that's right. I said in the comment yeah. on the picture, dinner with Nikita Koloff. Uncle Ivan. You go down. It's too bad Ivan died. Yeah, it sucks. Right, so now we we'll look at the map and see where we need to go again. Yeah, he's been taking lessons from Skip Rogers. Yeah. Well, Skip says something that's actually true. <laughs> in all fairness, some of the stuff I think he said in the Simon's Quest tip tape was not that bad. But it's the Mega Man 2 one where he really messed up and became infamous for it. <laughs> That's like saying, when you fight Ganondorf, don't use the silver arrows. What? <laughs> or not Ganondorf, again in Zelda. When fighting Ganon, use your sword and don't use the silver arrows. <laughs> <laughs> In Breath of the Wild, use your tit tacks. Oh, no, fail. <laughs> oh, the screech bird. Oops! 
You don't have any money. Oh, wait, yeah, you do. And what? Don't pay. What's he going to do? <laughs> He'll fly at you and peck, peck you to death. It's like um, Alfred Hitchcock's birds. There's Russell again. Do, 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 do. As we look at the entrance to the forest temple. The good old days. Yeah. When I was still nervous. Yep. Yeah, I would say very sophisticated because it seems as the farther back the Zelda timeline goes, the more technological it gets. Yeah. So I wonder where in the timeline Breath of the Wild falls in. Uh, I I've pa I know what the story's about because I've passed the point where it tells you what's going on. So I think I have an idea. We'll find out in the book of Historia. Oh wait. What? <laughs> the golden uh That's a, yeah, the golden, the golden cock. Yeah. The golden chicken from a KFC or whatever they're promoting right now. Finger licking gold. Popeyes. Yeah. See that commercial Enzo Amore and Big Cast? Uh where he dresses like the colonel, I think, and, and uh, talk about uh, the new chicken and whatever they're selling now at KFC. What? Either KFC uh. or something. It, it, they show it on Brawl or they show it on WWE programming. Not really. I don't know if it's really a public commercial that shows everywhere. All right, so as the Golden Goose um, helps me get to where I need to go. Well, at least it's not the gobbledygooker. Oh, jeez. You know, I heard a rumor that that was originally supposed to be the Undertaker in that egg. Thank God it wasn't. I know, right? That would make it look so stupid. But I did hear that Hector Guerrero was the gobbledygooker. Yeah, yep. I don't know what they were thinking. Bastion Booger was a better idea. I'm the booger man. Yeah. Or or before that, Norman the lunatic, whoever came up with the idea of bashing the booger was a lunatic. <laughs> okay, wait a minute. I'm a deja vu. Oh man, don't tell me we gotta do this again. Hey, you're on the wrong game, man. Yeah, I... Ah, oh, we gotta do this again. Jeez. Come on, it's me. Don't you recognize me? I like I like this part a lot better because it's at night. You can see like the light from his lantern. Yeah. Well, that's right. I don't recognize him because the last time Link was Wolf Link, right? Yes, actually, you're right. You know, I don't think I ever thought of it that way. That's probably why I don't recognize him. See, 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 folks, this is why you want to watch. You learn stuff. Yeah. Oh, come on. You don't, You can't tell a wolf from a human. You can't tell if they're the same person. You got problems, bud. Yeah. You got 99 problems, but a wolf ain't one. <laughs> 99 said enough, buddy. You got 99 problems, but the wolf pack ain't one. Fail. Uh, the NWO wolf pack. Yeah, a finger poker dude. Remember the uh, remember the uh, the Latino world order. <laughs> yeah, jeez. Yeah, you have Wolfpack, Black and White, LWO. What's gonna, what was gonna be next? Oh yeah, the BWO. Yeah, the Blue World Order, man. Yeah. Do you remember? Do you remember who they were? Big Stevie Cool, the Blue Guy, and uh, I forgot who Nova was. Hollywood Nova. Nova was Hogan. Yeah. Hollywood yeah. Nova. Yeah. Oh, let me tell you something, dude. Yeah. 
We, when I was in high school, me and my friends talked about what if Kane joined the Wolfpack? Well, he wouldn't have to change his colors. Yeah, yeah, that's why we said that. He's wearing red and black. He had that, like that, that, yeah, that, just... that, that voice modulator. Kane yep. in the his house. <laughs> You're just too sweet. <laughs> yeah, that would not work out. Lex Luger was a better Wolfpack member. I don't know why, but I actually held my hand up to my throat when I did that. <laughs> <laughs> you got to do a Luna impression. Say about it. <laughs> Say about it. Tonight. <laughs> I would sleep here. Minus all those guys chasing me. Right. Yeah, there's no danger, no enemies, no, nothing creepy. Yeah, that'd be a beautiful place to sleep at night. That could be said about any city in America. Yeah. You see that picture I posted on Hyrule Warriors where it shows Saria? This is Saria back then. And this is her 20 years later. <laughs> Feel old yet? Yeah, right. Yeah, she still looks the same. <laughs> That's good. So, so you didn't know that they were all dead? No, I just thought they... I didn't think they were dead dead because they didn't look like ghosts floating like, like the Zora child's mother. I just thought they were confined in that... Uh, in that realm, like forever, to be guardians of uh, their own, their their uh, where they're from. I ain't th I ain't thinking that well, they're actually being dead. It, well, it makes sense because with Saria, I'm not sure, but with Darunia, like he went the last time you see him, he's outside the boss door, like he's gonna go fight the dragon. So the dragon killed him. Ruto got killed when Zora's domain froze over. Impa got killed when she tried to seal the monster in the well. And Naburu got killed by those witches because when you're a kid, you see them take her. Well, see, I thought she was just earning a spell or something. Because remember, oh, wait, she, that's was, right. she was in that armor. She was wearing that uh, inside that uh, armor. That's right. So and then, but then after she tries to run away, they do like hit her with magic and she disappears or something. Right. And, so I mean, I don't know. It just I never thought of that theory. I never really thought of them as being dead. Well, at least they're alive in spirit. In spirit traps. Just like it, it's believed that uh, Kepora Gebora, that annoying owl, is actually the spirit of Raru, the sage. Yeah, Raru, yeah. Uh, that, everybody's dead in Zelda. Everybody. <laughs> everybody's a reincarnated mess. Including Link himself. Who's prob probably probably nope. Dead Majora's Mask, and it's probably the 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 Stalfo's training me. <laughs> yeah, because remember, nobody ever dies at Nintendo. Yeah, they they d disappear or turn into an item and float away. Yeah. Except Friday the Thirteenth. Yeah, I was, I was about to say that Friday the Thirteenth. Yeah, you and your friends are dead. They just. Cut the BS and just say that. Friday thirteenth. They don't shoot the whole coat. world. The no. whole yeah. The whole world hates you. You're going to hell. Live with it. Yeah. <laughs> Not me on Elm Street though. Yeah, you. It shows you floating away. <laughs> <laughs> Quite literally with that freaking halo on your head and everything. Yeah. I'm thinking though, like in the end of Kung Fu Kid, or some games. They show like the villain dying and then like going going to heaven. I'm like, if they're villains, should they go to hell? But no, you can't show oh, hell at Nintendo. There's one game where Hitler, his like head explodes or something, but I can't remember which Nick which game it is. <laughs> Bionic Commando. Hitler's in Bionic Commando. I think it's that game. Like it ends with a picture of, like his head like blowing up or melting or something. Well. Wow. I'm pretty sure it's bionic. Yeah, because you got that bionic arm. Yeah. And Bowser, I think, flo yeah, he floated away in Mario World. Oh, 
All right. Are we almost done here? Jeez. You know, until recently, I was uh, remi- reminded of the fact that um, Nikki just checked, by the way, it is Bionic Commando. But in the Zelda lore, it's only adults that are lost in the woods that could turn into Stalfos. If you're a kid, you could turn into a Skull Kid. I, I recently reminded myself of that fact. Okay. Tibbs, everybody, the Mike Tanay of Zelda. Link, stu- Link studied his archery moves on the. Uh, on whatever. <laughs> also, the Luchadors came from Gerudo Valley in 1800s. At least, at least, at least it's not, I'm not as bad as Josh Matthews. I don't know much about him. Mr. Uh, I always knew I would end up in TNA. I mean, yeah, I know who he is. I just don't know much about his commentary. I haven't <laughs> watched TNA. And I really can't. Well, I could you if know, I look it up my line. He, he's the ultimate charity case. I'm sorry, but he, he lost tough enough. But because he was so tiny and so lovable, they gave him a job, even though he does can't really do anything, and he's been employed. And then he went to TNA, and that's sinking ship. Yeah. Well, at least they found something for him. I, I, I would be thankful if I was him. Well, if you read some of his tweets, I mean, he even told JR to go away. <laughs> wow. Uh, someone worse than Michael Cole. Well, people say Michael Cole is bad, and yeah, at times he is bad, but there is worse out there, people. I mean, Mike Adamley, enough said. Yeah. Or, uh, what was that, that, that guy's name? We mentioned him. The, uh,. Ron Bartlett, I think was his name, the first oh, few episodes of Monday Night Raw. Yeah, he didn't last long, though, at all. Like, I don't know why they gave yeah. him a job. I remember, I, was, I, was, I watched one of the episodes of Raw when they were new, like the fourth episode. I think the episode where uh, Money Incorporated bashed Brutus Beefcake's face in, supposedly, with the briefcase. And oh, yeah. Rob Bartley's mic was not working, I guess. And Macho Man took his... No, Macho Man's mic was not working. And Macho Man just grabbed Rob Bartley's <laughs> and took over it. <laughs> so you awesome. he, he, he hear Rob Bartley talk throughout the whole show. <laughs> I was like, all right, cool. <laughs> no one probably noticed. Yeah. And all right, so now we're finding the Sacred Grove. Again. So things look different now. The, the, the first time I played this game, it took me a while to think to put that back in there. Yeah. I mean, you're so used to taking it out. That's what she said. Whoa. Uh, all right. So he, he took out his master sword. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Up. We've been here before. Yeah, jeez, oh, these guys. Well, I think this is the last time. Yeah, let's just cut through that. All right. Another warp zone. I got the, I got the music from the second stage of Blaster Master in my head right now. Uh, I never I seen the game, but I don't remember much of it. I do remember some tracks. Yeah, Blaster Master yeah. Zero is coming out this Friday or this Thursday, something like that. Oh. Yeah, Thursday. Whoa! Look at this. You already have me into oh, the Twilight dude. Zone now. Yeah. Do, 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 do. The Twilight Zone. Was it the Twilight Zone where they show the episode of that kid that was God and don't make any noise while the music's playing? Yep. <laughs> I want to be that kid. Don't make any noise while the music's playing. I'll turn you to a jack in the That's box. Re- <laughs> That's real good, Link. It's good that you broke all those pots. It's real good. Yeah. <laughs> it's good that you caught a snail and you're going to turn to some weird bug and then kill it. <laughs> all right, so... I'm leaving here to t- return return to Akathis Castle for one last time so that we can get our big reward for finding all the bugs. I better be good. Yeah. 
dude, this dude, she's bugging. Yeah, and like I said before, I worked with a girl that reminds me of Agatha, or mainly her voice. Hi. Uh, I, I, I can imagine Agatha's restaurant in Breath of the Wild. Would you like an appetizer? We have nachos. <laughs> And then you order nachos. Oh, nacho, 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 if, man! How tasty are you? Here? If I, if I'm running along the field and I and I find her, I'm gonna like lose my mind. Yeah. <laughs> if you're an opponent, just run over her. <laughs> That'd be so wrong. As the undercover decoy, Agatha, played by a 19-year-old actress, approaches Link. <laughs> He then gives her what she, what they asked for in the chat room, a snail. Did you bring the snail? Yes, I did, honey. <laughs> okay, have she a seat. She wants to take a bath in the slime. Yeah. Just what I always wanted. Yep. Damien Memento oh. fail. Giant wallet. Whoa! You can hold a thousand rupees now. That, that, that's pretty cool. In the HD version of the game, there's actually a bigger one. The Tycoon, ty yeah, Tycoon's wallet, which can hold, I think, 9,999. Oh, wow. I bet Breath of the Wild, you can hold a million. No. <laughs> open world. Have an open wallet. <laughs> Yeah, right. Uh, Giovanni's house. Okay, I think about to find out here how much pose we got. Are we in Uncle Scrooge's money band? Jeez. <laughs> Jingle all the way. Put the cookie down. Yeah. Oh, Tim. Okay, that's right. We did talk to him. Tim more, Tim more pose, and then he'll be fully back to normal. Oh, you've killed a lot more than I remember. Yeah. Here's Look another one. Then we'll, we'll go. Try not to lose count here. All right, so nine more to go. You know, it would help if they tell you right here. Like where you at? Like how many how many you collected already, or how much more you gotta go? But I guess they well, don't... that's what the pot that's what the menus are for, Ronnie. No, I don't want to look at menus. It's too much hard work to first start and look at the menus. <laughs> that's what the <laughs> that's what the menus are for, Ronnie. <laughs> you don't know anything. I beat this game when I was two. <laughs> right? I ain't no faggy. I I didn't have to <laughs> steal any faggy footage from YouTube <laughs> to beat it. <laughs> Oh, shut sure. up. Faggy. Laggy is faggy. Uh, once again, we enter uh, Alfred Hitchcock's uh, Twilight Zone. I fail. <laughs> Rod Sterling, whoever the heck hosted it. Um, Rod right. Sterling. Rod Sterling, the owner of the Clippers that made the racist comment years ago and a few years uh, ago. And, no, that's Donald Sterling, I think. Never mind. <laughs> Sterling Sharp he used to play for the Packers, I think. Uh, anyway, all right, the Temple of Time. I say turtles and turtle and time. The Temple of Time yes, here. Yes. Finally, the Temple of Time gets its own dungeon. Yes. Whoa. Led Zeppelin, Stairway to Heaven. And I do believe. He... Yes, there's Jeff. Whoa, Jeff, where are you going? I ain't got time in a hurry right now. <laughs> I guess he's going to the shop. He's busy. Yeah, he's got to go take a nap. Yeah. All right, so... Whoa! Uh, this is going to be pretty cool. But we won't be able to see that until part 23. Right. Well, we will go through the Temple of Time. Until then, God bless and take care. For you!